Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we return in Last Day on Earth, and today I have my sights on something very specific. So the horde came again, they kind of pooped all over us. Uh, yeah, I said my next video wasn't going to be till tomorrow, but you guys were showing mad support. What the hell is that noise? Is that just the furnace? I think it is. You guys were showing mad support on the last Last of Day video, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and get you guys another one here. But still, tomorrow is still gonna be hopefully the big video. Talk about how to get free coins and free weapons in-game. But anyways, today what we're gonna be doing is I would like to get my hands, or at least begin getting my hands all over that ATV. Look at that thing. It allows you to build an ATV to reach far territories. In comfort, we just gotta get some iron bars, some pine planks, wires, duct tape, and bolts. All of which we have a very pretty good amount of. Our inventory is looking pretty empty here, so with here are some of those iron bars that we needed. Let's continue grabbing some of those. I'm a little bit disorganized. I will hopefully fix that up relatively soon. We got some of this bauxite continuing to cook up into that aluminium. Aluminum, whatever you want to call it. But what we are going to... And yeah, these zombies absolutely tore down our base. It's pretty... It's pretty poopy. But what else do we need here? Uh, so we got to get some planks. I've had some planks getting worked on for a little bit. So boom, shakalaka. Next ingredient down. No, not there. Uh, after that, we have the wires. I think I have the wires up in this chest. 20 of them right there. So this isn't going to be the cheapest thing to make. But if you have been looting all the territories and stuff, it's not like you're, these are super rare items. These are a little bit more common than some stuff like rubber parts and all that. Uh, so what do we have there? We can get some bolts and the duct tape going. Okay, well, why don't we get... I think the duct tape is actually going to be over in this room. If I recall where it was last. Somewhere in here. I know there's rubber parts there. There's the duct tape. And there's the nuts and bolts. Are we ready? Are we prepared? We are prepared to begin crafting the ATV. And are we prepared to put it down? We gotta put it on a stone floor. Okie freaking dokie. This is not gonna be cheap, is it? Uh, well, looks like we gotta embark ourselves onto a little bit of a journey. A journey of making stone floors. So I think we're gonna make ourselves a little bit of an expansion right here. I think that's a pretty nice spot. Or maybe even right here in this corner, we could do that. Yeah, then we just have to add in two more. So all we gotta do for that is to get ourselves a little bit of wood. Now, what better way to do that? I've actually started stockpiling a little bit here. We can grab some of those pine logs. We are gonna have a lot of pine logs, by the way, from grabbing all those things. I'm actually gonna put some of those away just so I really don't go a little bit too overboard on them. I don't think we're gonna be needing this many for what we need to do right away. But anyways, we can go into build mode. We can hit that thing, and why don't we start trying to place the rest of these. Oh, thank you, auto build! Auto build helped me for once. It understood what I wanted to do. Okay. Now to upgrade them, we are gonna need normal stones and planks. Planks, we should have a little bit of. Uh, what do we have there? We got, we'll start gathering some of those planks. They should be scattered about a little bit, but if not, we're actually gonna start throwing some of our wood. Oh, there we got some of those stone bricks we're gonna be needing to upgrade to that final layer. But I don't think I have too much of a wooden plank stockpile. I should have some over here on the other bench. In the meantime, though, I'm actually gonna try to put some of these things down. There we go. We got another 20 right there. Uh, I think we might need to potentially skip some of these though. Oh, we're gonna have to skip quite a few, aren't we? Well, it's alright. I got some- I got some saved up. And this is for the purposes of the video, to hell with it. I don't care if I gotta use up a couple of coins. If it makes for a better video for you guys, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do that thing with a smile. Alright, but now that we got that, we should also probably want to collect some of our limestone that we have there. And we're gonna be needing that to upgrade this to level 2. All right, so if we click on it, boom shakalaka, we are ready to go. That final upgrade, though, is going to cost iron. Luckily for us, we have a lot of iron. I'm actually kind of happy it costs iron instead of wood, because I have a lot more of that. But, <laughs> oh, okay. But anyways, let's keep on going through all of those. But yeah, I, I have a lot more iron than the other stuff. And I think we might need, like, a few... Like, I think we literally need two more wooden plant. Yeah. We actually need, like, two more wooden planks. Okay. Why don't we skip a couple of those ahead? We'll grab those. We'll re-up on both of these benches. That's just my fault for not being as prepared as I should have been. But I'm definitely going to try to check into these as much as possible. Uh, I got 20 wood, and it takes four minutes per wood. So every hour and a half, I think if you check in every hour, 20 minutes, this is going to be as a little hint, little tidbit for you guys. That's how you can maximize how much your woodworking benches do. I wish we could add workers to make them faster, but that is not a thing yet. But when the radio tower comes out, hopefully it will become a thing. And that's going to be so cool 
because think about it our base is kind of gonna look like a freaking settlement if we have workers that we recruit doing stuff all over the place like i don't know that just seems to me like a super cool potential idea but anyways back to the task at hand we have the rest of what we need and we should probably start stockpiling just a little bit of those there we go so the iron is good we just find a lot of iron from going out in the wild i haven't actually smelted down a lot of that i do have some ore that i should want to smelt down or don't you have to actually smelt down the scrap metal to make uh yeah scrap metal four turns into an iron bar a lot of these iron bars we found out in the wild or even in uh in the bunker so it's not like we're it's not like we had to grind super hard for them unless you call going through the bunker a grind but i don't know i call going through the bunker a treat that place is fun. I still have to go and pick up the rest of my stuff from there, but we got about 60 iron. I think that should be enough. And all we need is the rest of our stone, which we have about 60 of right here. Uh, do we have more being made, though? Actually, not more being made, but we do have a little bit to spare. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Now that I think about it... Hold on. I'm actually going to put a couple of things away. We're going to grab a couple more limestones. Because we should be done with the wood at this point. I don't think the wood should be too big of a deal. Uh, but what I am going to do here... I know there was limestone in that chest. I know. But I'll grab I'll grab it from the chest later. Right now we got the inventory slots for this. I'm actually going to get these going back up. I'll actually start collecting the old ones. Because here it is two stones to one stone brick. Which sucks. Just because it means we make a little bit less than I'd like. But... Oh, do we only have one? No, we have, we have a second bench. Okay, good. And then we will get the second one up and running and grab the rest of those. This should be more than enough, I'm hoping, to finish making up this floor. And then we can see what it takes. Oh, I derped out. I still have that I still have that one in the middle I have to finish, don't I? Well, I actually can. Yay! All right, and now we got to make this stone floor. Stone floors are expensive. I'm telling you guys right now, don't make stone floors unless you have to. Because think about it. The only thing about the stone floor that matters is what you can put on top of it. Now, ooh, we need a couple more bricks there, but yeah, the only thing that matters is what you can put on top of it. It's not like a wall. Speaking of that, we might actually need to rebuild the base a little bit, but it's not like a wall where you can break it down. All that matters is what goes on top of it. So, are you guys ready by chance with some of those bricks? I need like, I need like five of you. I'll bite the bullet on this one. It shouldn't be too big of a deal there. There we go. I've, I've eaten through a little more coins than I would have liked to eat through, but I will survive. Now, let's put the finishing touch on this little 3x3. Three three. Oh, my dude's hungry. But guess what? I'm hungry for the ATV and seeing this thing go down. Ooh, yeah, I like what I see. Hello, ATV. Hello, that's going to be a challenge to... Oh, my God. 200 engine parts? Uh, well... By the looks of it, all of these things we should have access to. Besides the ATV transmission, I don't think the transmission's in the game yet. All Everything else is. Problem is, I mean, thick fabric, that shouldn't be too bad. It's just going to take a lot of cloth. That's not going to be super awful. It just means maybe going out gathering a ton of grass. Scrap metal, that's just going to be mine or smelting down a ton of iron. But I think the annoying part about this is potentially going to be these three things up here even the wire we have a lot of wires but still that's gonna be kind of annoying we have a good amount of tires all right well let's let's at least start funneling a couple of things down on this atv and we'll see we'll kind of take things from there so i i'm not using these things i think for anything else i don't think there's any other recipe that needs them i'll leave the last four like just in case i guess but i don't think i'm gonna need those uh but what's the other stuff that we needed again i think we needed I'm saving the rubber parts. The rubber parts are not going in until, like, they're the finishing touches. Because rubber parts are super useful for a lot of other things. But we do have quite a few tires. I think we got these from, like, clearing the bunker. Maybe even a couple of airdrops and stuff. I might try and go out and get a couple airdrops as well. And we do have the fuel tank. So we, we'll, we'll be able to make a pretty good a pretty good progress here on building up the ATV. Uh, what is it? There goes the fuel tank. Hey, look at that. One thing completed. In terms of wheels, this is a 16-wheeler. Sweet freaking mama. There we go. So we got six of those. And in terms of other stuff, everything else is just going to take a lot of numbers. Ball bearings can go. Wires are going to take 120. Uh, I mean, why don't we go invest a couple? I'm not going to invest everything. Especially because... Uh, actually, I don't even want to invest the wires. Because think about it. We might need those wire parts for the radio a little bit sooner. And everything else. Regardless, uh, we are hungry and thirsty. We should probably try to do something about that. There we go. Oh no, that became water in there. That that canceled our entire thing. That sucks. Anyways, 
Let's go and try to get a little bit of food in us. We should have some grilled steaks. Absolutely scrumptious and delicious grilled steaks. A little bit of wood there left over from some, some of my hiatus. Here you can see my inventory. Oh man, that gun chest is looking mighty fine. And we do have one chest here with some of our a lot nicer guns that we got from that combat chest. Including that gas mask, dude. This gas mask is awesome. I'm seriously going to save that for potentially the next floor. You guys told me last episode that maybe it's not worth it to go do the current floor. So I thought to myself, yeah, maybe it isn't. In terms of scrap metal, you know what? Why don't we go and invest a couple of these? Because this will actually, you know what else is going to do? It's going to free up a ton of inventory space for us. So I'm totally down to actually try to invest some of these things. And at least see how close we get. But look at how cool that looks. Even if we can't, you know, ride it per se yet. It's still, you got to admit, it looks pretty freaking awesome to just be chilling here. And anytime anyone maybe tries to raid us, <laughs> you know, I know it's not PvP now, but when it becomes PvP, anytime they try to raid us, they'll be like, damn, Papa Star has the setup. What do you guys think of the ATV so far? What do you think of these requirements? Personally, I think maybe they should lower them a bit. Like, I get the ATV is supposed to be super awesome. And check this out. Another thing, the ATV is going, it's supposed to, like, unlock pretty much an entirely new portion of the map like the chopper all the chopper does is it kind of just lets you you know walk around of using not stamina but you can use fuel instead and ooh, we got a little something over here we could go visit Ooh, i'll actually head on over here while we're at it at least see what the dealer wants maybe maybe want something good but uh over here these everything over here like the oak groves which is gonna have the oak woods an absolute necessity for us pretty soon uh oak grove oak woods the pump jack even the watchtowers, all of these, by the looks of it, you're going to need the ATV. And that's where that's where I think it gets kind of cool. The ATV is going to kind of like unlock a new portion of the game. Like once you finish crafting the ATV when it's craftable, it's going to be like, whoa. Like there's going to be so much more available to you guys. Like watchtowers, like look at that. And a new base to raid. I wonder how that base is going to be looking. Player 8788 is not going to know what hit him, you know? Uh, I think there's actually one more bunker though. If we get the ATV, that means Bunker Charlie might become possible. I don't know. That's a big maybe. Maybe we need the helicopter for that. If you guys don't know about the helicopter, oh man. I cannot wait to one day craft this thing. Can you imagine how epic it's going to be? Having an MI-24 helicopter to fly around in? It takes a lot of advanced things just to get the process started, but that's not going to that's not gonna happen for a while. But listen, I'm going to look back at this video you know, months down the line, and I'm gonna be like, I could, like, the helicopter update happened, and when it happens, I'm gonna be like, whoo! I will be simply amazed. But right now, Mr. Weapons Dealer, I came to you. I spent, like, 50 of my stamina. I hope you're good. Ooh. I could, if I get the alcohol, I could actually do a weapons crate deal with them. You know. Mmm. Mmm. One first aid kit, like, isn't that bad. I'll actually go ahead and split them up right now. Three band-aids and some alcohol. That's not, that's not a lot in terms of what we have. I'm kind of down with this deal. Hold on, hold on, buddy, old Jimbo pal of mine. I'm going to start splitting things up for that little deal. What do we just need, 10 alcohol? I'll grab that 10 alcohol for you, Mr. Dealer. Don't you worry. Oh, another trick for you guys as well. I don't know when's the last time I mentioned this trick, but maybe if you have a lot of stamina, maybe if you have a couple of those coins or after tomorrow's video comes out talking about how to get those free coins, uh, you know, you don't want to use those coins to regenerate your stamina. What you can actually do to save on stamina just a little bit. So this one's here kind of is annoying just because we have 21 and it takes like 22 to run over there. But what you can actually end up doing is I'll just fast forward through this a little bit. And there you can see speed up and now it takes 20 stamina. So what you can do is let's say, for example, if we wanted to run all the way back to home and take like 50 stamina, if we want, we would then have to buy more stamina. And that just brings us back up to 100 and then it subtracts the 50. So what we can do instead, we can go there and that's what you always want to try and do. You always want to try and use up absolutely as much energy as possible because that way it's just going to cost less overall. Because now, when we run to the base, it's like 33 instead of like 51. And if it's 33, when we buy all that new stamina, 100 minus 33 is 67. We're going to have a little bit more to mess with. Now, hopefully, when we get out of this base, we might even have another airdrop we could go to. Or a plane crash, dude. I have not seen a plane crash in like a week or two. That is seriously the most rare event, I think. Because what... I mean, I don't even think there's any enemies in the plane crash. And when you go there... 
like, I don't know if you guys saw my video way back when, but there's like 20, 30 chests full of stuff. Plane crashes are amazing. If you guys ever see a plane crash, go there. Actually, if you have a chopper, take the chopper to the plane crash because you can actually get three extra storage slots with the chopper. And that could save you like an entire trip there. Or maybe if you can't afford the trip, you can at least go there once, which is going to be a pretty big deal. But anyways, we have returned. I'm going to grab some of that alcohol. We're going to make our way back to the dealer. But also before we do that, I do want to do a little bit of base improvement. Because this zombie horde keeps on tearing us down. So that's why I'm trying, I'm going to try to really stockpile on planks and stuff. What I'm going to try to do is actually have a video dedicated to zombie proofing and or even raid proofing your base. Because so far... I don't think- Oh no, the, the stupid gray wolf. I think zombies can only break through these wooden ones. But ever since last Saturday's update, ever since 1.5.6, each zombie horde breaks like a lot of walls. I think they break like 10 or something. Uh, 10 wouldn't even surprise me. That sounds like a pretty good number like in my head. That sounds pretty reasonable. But okay, shenanigans aside, let's try to get a little bit of that alcohol. Oh no! Okay, the gray wolf missed me that time. Let's try to get a little bit of that alcohol. Is that what it's called? Just alcohol? Yeah, it's just called alcohol. <laughs> Probably not the type that you want to be drinking with that label on there. Not recommended for internal use. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't be ingesting that. But what we're going to do before we leave is actually try to get some more of these back. A couple of our woods here. I think we should have a couple more there. And we are going to try to wrap up the base. Now, I'm just going to do this temporarily. It kind of sucks because pretty much what it ends up being is like a wood tax on your base is where zombies will pretty much just attack your base and get rid of some wood every once in a while. Which sucks, but hey, it keeps them from potentially breaking down some of your better stuff. But it does suck that it costs wood and whatnot, so I'm just using floors all around. Oh, I don't have a doorway now, do I? Uh, hold on. I might try to tear down one of these super quickly. Uh, yeah, let's let's tear that down. <laughs> probably want to invest in a doorway. There we go. That's a little bit nicer. And probably a doorway, eh, right around here too. But that's just kind of something you have to keep in mind. It's, I wouldn't say it's like that, that, I'd say it's a, annoying more than a bad. Because think about it. It costs one wood to put down this first layer of stuff. What, you chop down a tree, you get three wood right there. So if you go to like one biome, with the goal in mind of chopping down wood, you could easily get like 40, 60 wood probably. I don't even know. If you have enough pickaxes, you'll be good to go. Now, can maybe an airdrop happen? I'd love to stop by an airdrop in today's video too. Come on, hit me with it last day. Ooh, yeah, we got what we wanted. I'll take that. I always love airdrops. They're super easy to do. You know why? All you gotta do is just be like, hey, there's the airdrop. All right, let me just uh, sprint on my way to the middle. And all you do, you just grab the crate super easy it's not it's not a hassle especially because a lot of times you can usually run to the middle and not even be bothered by any enemies because if you do it right it's not like there's like super tough enemies trying to stop you from getting this crate there's a it's like pretty normal it's like a normal biome except okay here's a toxic spitter that's all right we got the best way of dealing with ah! oh he got me damn it there we go he only got like one toxic spitting on us I'll collect that rope. Oh, we have a little bit too much stuff on us, don't we? Yeah, look at that. I mean, your only worry is like the toxic spitters who sense you from 27 miles away for some reason. I still have no clue why the hell they do that, but they do, so nothing there. Hello, rubber... Oh, we got that red coupon I was talking about. Hell to the yeah! Ooh, mama. We can fill back up on those. We can get some wires back up in here. A gun. I'm just gonna drop that one wood. Screw that one wood. And these two things, eh, we got enough of back at home. But still, look at that. I told you it was possible last video. Would you look at that? Now you have seen you can get a green one. You can get a red one. Ah, don't spit on me. I'm trying to be informative. Damn it, you freaking toxic spitters. Toxic spitters confirmed hate education. They literally spit all over education. Get out of here, fast biter. You and your shenanigans. You guys drop any tickets for me? No. But yeah. And I don't know, I didn't show it on camera, I didn't have it recording when that happened, but I did personally get a yellow ticket out of one before I was recording. So that shows you can get every tier ticket out of that airdrop, and honestly, since we got both a green and a red one, I think if you're super lucky out of an airdrop, you might be able to get all three tickets. So that's really awesome, that's like a different way, a new way of getting coupons. I, I'm really, I'm sad that I couldn't show you guys directly how to do that. 
but I did show you some of the methods last time. Let's head back to this dealer. Let's see what he's got. I want to open up this weapon crate. I want to see what it's got for us. I want to see. I'm ready to deal with my friend over here. We might have to loot. Uh, I mean, we're just going to have to cut out. Also, the reason our inventory was full was because I did split up all these things. So, <laughs> whatever. I, I know that's never a good thing to leave behind anything that you find. But it was like one nut, one nail. And uh, I didn't... I, my mind went on autopilot. I forgot my inventory is kind of full of a couple things. So, makes sense, you know? All right. Mr. Dealer, I have come to deal. What do you have for me? A weapon crate. I hope it's good. The last couple times we've opened these things, man, you know what it's been? It's been Spike Devastators. I want something good. I used to get M16s out of this. Don't give me the Spike Devastator. What is that? There's a dangerous toy inside. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Yes! We got a pistol. I know that doesn't seem hype, but think for all, like, you might be like, Star, you have a chest full of them. Dude, I'm not, I still value all the, everything that I have highly. Because I know for a lot of you guys, like, let's say if this is you in a dealer situation, right? Where maybe you don't happen to have that many of that. That's why I love going to the dealer. Because if you're lucky, you might, you might luck out. Get a Spike Devastator. But if you're lucky, baby, ooh, look at that. 100% Glock 17. That's going to help you take out a couple of frenzy giants in the bunker. So the dealer is indirectly, directly helping us take out stuff in the bunker which will then potentially lead to that combat gear loot and that combat gear box oh boy that thing is epic but by the looks of it we're not getting much else so again like that tactic i was talking about we can run over to this base it's a little bit away not a ton but we do use up a little bit extra of that stamina and then when we want to run here we can uh refill our energy whatever but we use up a little bit less we saved a couple in the long run so now we can make our way back to base and let's head on back into the base. But like I was saying in the comments, I really want to hear what your guys' opinion on the ATV is. Not your opinion on the transmission. That The transmission just means they don't have the ATV ready. So they kind of like keep that one item out of the game. So no one can actually get it. But let me know what you guys think about just what the ATV's cost. I want to get your guys' opinion. You know, if you think it's fair, if you think it's unfair, what you think it should be instead. Like, maybe a hundred engine parts or something. Okay, honestly, my biggest problem is probably with the engine parts and rubber parts. Because those two are insanely hard to find. I've been getting a little bit luckier with rubber parts lately. But engine parts are still, like, super insane to find. But other than that, I am going to go ahead and probably end off the video right around here. I'm going to be spending a good amount of my time trying to keep these woodworking benches going full speed. While we are gone, I'm going to try to check in on them every once in a while. Same with these so we get some stone bricks. And probably even same story for the iron. Because what I want to do is I want to start zombie proofing. You know, raid proofing. What the hell? Is that? Is that wolf dead? Is this wolf dead? Oh, no! No! My pet wolf is dead! He ran into the spikes through the wall. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to go to... Ow! Meanie. I'm gonna go turn him into jerky though. So uh, there we go. Hello. <laughs> As tradition, we'll I'll, we'll start off next episode, baby, by eating our best friend alive. How's that sound? <laughs> Savage, I know. But other than that, ooh, got a little bit of iron there too. I'm gonna go ahead and probably start trying to organize things a little bit more because our organizational skills have been. A little bit below lackluster, probably try to get some of that iron ore smelting a lot more often. And uh, I really just want to try and start going ham. And I really want to get a good amount of resources so we can do something awesome with this base. Number one priority, again, is going to be making sure this place is as armored as possible. And then taking things from there. But I do hope that I can show you guys the best way to, like, zombie-proof, raid-proof your base in a coming video. But other than that, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Thank you for complaining. I'll get you some of that in a little bit here. But that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys, old son, for watching. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.